okay students in algebra let's uh, today uh, see how to find uh, or frame algebraic equation and how to solve them okay so you already are aware of algebraic expressions now another thing is algebraic equation so when one statement is given to you so looking at the statement reading the statement and trying to understand the statement is very important and then framing the equation from that now here one statement is there 5 times a number increased by 2 is 12 so you have to read it very carefully attentively 5 times a number increased by 2 is 12 means that there is a number and it's 5 times if you do then increase means plus or add 2 to it we get equal to 12 so we got the equation see so then question is what is that number what is the number Goes 5 times if added with 2 gives 12 so we will say let, let the number, number be x, x. then 5 times the number will be 5 into x because you said let the number be x so 5 times of that number will be 5x now according to question means it's given in the question 5 times the number when increased by 2 is 12 so here is the equation this equation is called the algebraic equation so we have framed the equation in the equation you have equal to sign and there is before the equation part is called the left hand side and after the equal to sign is the right hand side before the equal to sign left hand side after the equal to sign right hand side so left hand side is equal to right hand side that means the value of left hand side should also be 12 but what should be the value of x so that both sides value becomes 12 because right hand side is 12 and it so says it says that it that uh, it, that is equal to the left hand side so first using the substitution method we will try to get rid of this 12 this 2 okay this is plus 2 so we will subtract 2 then equal to the other side also will subtract 2 because we have to keep both both the sides left hand side and right hand side in a balanced position so on the left hand side if you are subtracting 2 on the right hand side 2 you will subtract 2 that's why see here i have written here subtracting 2 from both sides then what is left you know 2 minus 2 is 0 0 means nothing is left now nothing so only 5x is left on the left hand side so 5x will uh, be brought down then equal to here subtracting this difference will be 10 now we have to find the value of x so along with x we have 5 multiplying with it so we need to get rid of this 5 now in order to get rid of this 5 we have to divide this by 5 so 5x by 5 the other side also we will divide by 5 because both sides we have to uh, apply the same operation and the same number so that this equality it does not get disturbed so 5 divided by 5 5 5 gets cancelled one one time and 10 divided by 5 5 2 is up so 2 times therefore we get x equal to 2 hence the number is 2 now coming to the next one the sum of two consecutive natural numbers is 79 find the two numbers given that the sum of two consecutive numbers consecutive natural numbers it's not only numbers it is natural numbers and you know natural numbers begin from one so all counting numbers that we count one two three four and so on they are natural numbers while the whole numbers when you include zero to the list of natural number 
we call them phone number so 0 1 2 they are phone number and when you say consecutive consecutive means occurring one after the other when you are reading them like 1 2 3 these are consecutive natural numbers but if you say 1 4 6 and they are not consecutive you have skipped some of the numbers in between so they are not consecutive consecutive means in serial order none of them should be skipped okay so such is the situation here there are two consecutive number natural numbers and if you add them they are sum sum means if you add them the, the sum is 79 the result is 79 we are asked to find the two numbers okay so here if uh, we say that the number is x, okay, let one number be x, okay, then the other number would be x plus 1, x plus 1, why because you know consecutive numbers if one number is 2, then the other will be 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3. If one number is 5, then the other should be 6. How do you get 6? 5 plus 1, that is 6. So, in order to get the consecutive number, immediate consecutive, we have to add 1. Okay? Plus 1 more than the previous number, that is consecutive. Okay? So, if the first number is x, the second one will be x plus 1. Now, according to question, according to our question or statement, it says that their sum is 79. That means x plus x plus 1 is equal to 79. Now, we have these two like terms. Okay, I have already been telling you about like terms. Like terms have the same variables. Okay, so here also x plus, here also x. These are two different terms but they are like terms. Now we'll, we can add them and make them one single term. This is 1x and this is 1x where 1 is omitted, 1 is not written. So 1x plus 1x, so 1 plus 1, 2 and x, so 2x and plus 1. Now get to get rid of this plus 1, we have to subtract 1 on the left hand side. Similarly we will subtract 1 on the right hand side. Now we get here 1 minus 1 0 means nothing so only 2x is left on the right hand side 79 minus 1 is 78 now to get rid of this 2 we should divide this expression by 2 similarly we should divide the right hand side by 2 because whatever uh, operation we are applying or implying here on the left hand side same should be implied on the right hand side so if you are dividing on the left hand side, we will divide the right hand side too. If you are subtracting on the left hand side, we will subtract on the right hand side and the number also should be same. Now cancelling them we get 1x and cancelling them we get 39. So here the first number value that is for the number x, first number we said let it be x. So the value of x we got 39. Okay. Now the consecutive number the next one we said let it be x plus 1 that means the value of the first one and plus 1 added 1 to it so now the first one we got 39 and 1 added to it we get 40 so the other consecutive natural number is 40 okay hence these are the two numbers 39 and 40 now we can check also if you add 40 and 39 what we get these are the two consecutive natural number and if we add them we get 79 and that is what is written in the statement the sum of two consecutive natural number is 79 find the two numbers so we found the two numbers okay so now we will see some other things